from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India has a spell-binding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Skyrim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of a country's diversity. Let's begin the show with Arunachal Pradesh, which is known to be the home of a number of tribes. To celebrate the unique culture, tradition, language and knowledge system of these tribes, the state recently observed the International Day of Indigenous Peoples with an aim to create awareness about the social, economic and political rights of the indigenous people. <laughs> Tribal groups of Arunachal Pradesh decked up in their traditional attires, danced to the tunes of their tribal songs as the state observed the International Day of the World's Indigenous Peoples. The day is celebrated across the world with an aim to protect the rights of the indigenous people that constitute 6.2% of the world population settled in around 90 different countries. Arunachal Pradesh, where the indigenous groups account for about two-thirds of the population, observed the day for the first time to acknowledge the achievements and contributions of these people. We have always been dreaming that the people in Arunachal should also know their right, assert their right and stand up for their right in lawful and legitimate ways. And, and we thought this is an opportunity for us uh, to uh, come in confluence and very interestingly uh, uh, many of the church groups, the Catholic groups are also supporting it. Uh, in fact, in 2015, the Pope had apologized to the indigenous people for the mistakes they have committed in the past. Uh, so I think it is important. Many people are understanding the, the assertion of indigenous people. Sometimes there was a lot of confusion about it. Many people thought that the best way for the indigenous people is to leave their culture and join the mainstream. And people realized how wrong they were. And one of them was also the Catholic Church. Held at Don Bosco College in Jilang village of Papampare district, the celebrations were organized by the college in collaboration with Arunachal Pradesh Catholic Association. This year, the International Day of Indigenous Peoples was celebrated across the world with the theme, Leaving No One Behind, so as to incorporate indigenous tribes to the mainstream along with celebrating their own separate traditions. As part of the event, luminaries and torch bearers from different tribes of the state were also felicitated for their marvellous contributions in preserving the identity and essence of indigenous communities. Participants said that they felt great to perform in a cultural event after a long time. तो अभी जो यहां में कल्चरल प्रोग्राम करके हम लोग का माइंड भी खुला है पर अच्छा भी लगा कुछ बहुत कुछ इंडिजेस के बारे में पता चला है आदमी लोग से लाइक पहले तो अभी तो लाइक वी आर डेवलप बहुत डेवलप हो गया तो वी डजंट नो द हिस्ट्री मच बैक तो आज कुछ सीखना सीखने मिला है कि हां ऐसे भी था पहले में इंडिजेस को लेके बहुत कुछ था तो वही सीखने मिला आज बहुत अच्छा भी लगा Also known as the land of rising sun, Arunachal Pradesh is home to 26 major tribes and more than 100 sub-tribes, each of whom have their own customs, traditions and practices. The unifying feature of these tribes is that they maintain a symbiotic relationship with the nature and the land and hold diverse concepts of development based on their own worldviews and priorities.
India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished, but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. Even today, the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and act as a guiding force for many. So today we will take you to the shrine of Chandan Baba, which is thronged by people of all religions. Take a look. Situated in the Midnapur district of West Bengal, the shrine of Sufi saint Hazrat Sayyid Shah Deon Raji has served as a synergy of communal harmony for generations, which is thronged by a large number of devotees every day from across the nation, irrespective of their religion. Regarded as one of the greatest Sufi saints, Hazrat Sayyid Shah Deon Raji throughout his life spread the message of Sufism and peace. खूब कम आसे आरो बंधु बांधव संग एसिल मेर आगे इटली दुबार एलो मार की भालो तो लागबे बाबा आरे खिना जे कोनो जाके सबके भालो लागबे ठीक है The shrine was built around 500 years ago during the reign of the Mughal emperor Aurangzeb. According to a story, Sayyid Shah Deon Raji threw a sandalwood stick from which he was brushing his teeth and a sandal tree grew from it. It is from that day that the saint got the nickname of Chandan Baba. Every year, hundreds of devotees visit the shrine at the time of Bakr Eid when the urs of the saint is also celebrated. Yahan par hi wafat hua bas yahan par hi wo reh gaye aur unka ek bahut bada ye hai jo वो मिसवाक करते थे मिसवाक मिसवाक करके गाड़ दिए थे उसको चंदन गाज हो गया था मज़ार में लोग हर रोज़ आते हैं हर रोज चार से रात को आठ बजे तक खुला रहता है हर रोज आते हैं जो जो अपना मन्नत मांग मांगते हैं मन्नत पूरा भी होता है मन्नत हाँ हर रकम कोई जात नहीं है हर है हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सब हर कोई इंसान आते हैं Since ages the Sufi saints like Sayyid Shah Deon Raji have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country and their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the threat of secularism. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. An Indian banker living in India's western Pune city is visited by more than 3 dozen wink friends every day. About 35 to 40 Indian wink-necked and Alexandrian parakeet flock to Radhika Sunavne's balcony and hang on to feeder trays, and some special ones who like to be hand-fed perch on the window grills of her kitchen. Before one and half year, uh, they were coming, but uh, nowadays the number is uh, like increasing day by day, like 30, 35, 40. And there are two types of parrots, so ring neck, Indian ring neck, and Alexandrian parakeet. So uh, earlier, Indian ring neck used to come, but uh, later on, Alexandrian parakeet uh, in they, they started coming in large number. So nowadays they come every day, and uh, in terms of relation, like. There is some kind of bond I have developed with them. Sunavne says the birds bring her joy as she patiently waits for their arrival both in the morning and evening. The spectacularly green with a tinge of red-colored Indian ring-necked parakeet is also known as talking birds as they can imitate the human voice. Mill owners in India's northern hill town of Dharamshala have reintroduced traditional water mills amid coronavirus pandemic to earn a livelihood and preserve culture. Used for centuries by native people of the Himalayan region, the gharat or water mill uses water from natural sources like streams, rivulets among other water sources to run machines and grind grains to produce flour. Coronavirus pandemic forced many mill owners to shut down their mills. However, with the number of cases dropping and people returning to normalcy, the usage of water mills was started. तकरीबन दो ढाई साल पहले जैसे कोरोना काल शुरू हुआ, तो लोग सभी जो बाहर से शहरों में चले गए थे, वो भी आए घर में, उन्होंने खेती करना दोबारा शुरू कर दिया, और 
हम लोगों को भी घर में रहना पड़ा फिर कुछ ना कुछ काम तो करना था तो हमने फिर इसको दोबारा से इसकी मरम्मत वगैरह की थोड़ा जो भी था फिर फिर से दोबारा ये काम शुरू कर दिया और हमें ये एहसास भी हुआ कि नहीं हमें जो हमारे पूर्वजों के चलाए हुए काम थे रोजगार थे उन्होंने उनसे हमें हटना नहीं चाहिए वाटर मिल्स आर ऑल्सो यूज इन नॉर्दर्न अमृतसर सिटी फॉर सेंचुरीज विद कस्टमर्स प्रेफरिंग टू ईट फ्लावर ग्राउंड फ्रॉम देम village in india's eastern ranchi city has earned the name of aloe vera village as the cultivation of the medicinal plant is done in abundance which helps villagers earn a good income with every household in diori village cultivating aloe vera near their houses the plant has not only added beauty to their courtyards but also helped them to sell it and earn money yahan pe jo hai abhi to sare logon ke yahan hai gaon mein तो लोग आते हैं मंथली कम से कम एक क्विंटल का माल यहाँ से निकलता है और चूंकि तैयार होने में थोड़ा सा लेट हो रहा है समय इसको लगता है पत्तिया को तैयार होने में आ, लेकिन हर मंथ कहिए कि एक क्विंटल जैसा भी कटिंग हो रहा है और ये चूंकि बढ़ेगा पौधा और दिनों दिन गांव में बढ़ते चला जा रहा है तो आने वाला समय में ये ज्यादा कटिंग होगा और ज्यादा लोगों को फायदा होगा The production of aloe vera in the village has allowed women to engage in its cultivation on a livelihood and become self-reliant. The aloe vera cultivation in the village began in 2018 when the villagers received training under Birsa Krishi Vishwavidyalaya and Agriculture University and slowly started earning income with the knowledge of the plant. The plant is used in Ayurvedic homeopathic and allopathic medicines for ailments related to skin digestion among others India is a country where different religious communities reside in peace it is quite common to see people of different religious communities actively participating in each other's festivals and establishing a bond of brotherhood and bohemi Today in our episode of My India we will see two such examples of people of different religions contributing in the festivities of Hindu festival of Janmashtami take a look India has left the entire world spellblinded with its ability to be home to a number of different religions culture and ethnicities It is quite common to see people of different religious backgrounds contributing to each other's festivals in a number of different ways. Recently, when the entire country was soaked in Janmashtami festivities, people of different religious communities were seen contributing to its festivities in many ways. In Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir the famous Jhaki Yatra was held in which people of all communities took part actively the showcasing the bond of brotherhood among them Ye Jhaki isliye hai ki kyunki Krishna jo hai wo pyar ka sandesh puri duniya mein unhone phailaya hai pyar karna logon se sikhaya hai peace jaise abhi इन लोगों ने शिया लोगों ने अपनी रैली निकाली और हम अपनी रैली निकाल रहे हैं सभी धर्म एक ही प्यार का संदेश ही बताते हैं द यात्रा वॉज टेकन आउट फ्रॉम जंदार मोहल्ला हबा कदल डाउन टाउन टू लाल चौक एरिया ऑफ द सिटी पीपल ऑफ ऑल रिलीजियस कम्युनिटीज वर सीन रिजॉइसिंग द बर्थ ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड कोऑपरेटिंग फॉर कंडक्टिंग द प्रोसेशन पीसफुली आज सभी यहाँ आके आ, सभी लोग कश्मीरी चाहे वो किसी भी जात से हो किसी भी फरिश्ते से हो उन्होंने बढ़ चढ़कर कर यहाँ अपनी हाजिरी दी और भगवान कृष्ण जी के चरणों में अपना सर नमन किया और हमने प्रार्थना की कि इस जम्मू कश्मीर और पूरे हिंदुस्तान में अमन हो शांति हो भाईचारा हो और जैसे आज हमारे मुस्लिम बरादरी के भाई बहन बच्चे बूढ़े जिन्होंने आज यहाँ आकर हमारी जो हमारा सहयोग किया और उन्होंने आज जिस तरीके से झांकी 
और जिस तरीके से उन्होंने जगनमाला या जिस तरीके से फूल दूध फल फ्रूट हर हर किस्म की जो सुविधा उन्होंने हमारे लिए यहाँ रखी हम उनका भी शुक्रिया अदा करते हैं In Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh a Muslim artisan has been making dresses of Lord Krishna and Radha as his contribution to the celebrations of the auspicious festival of Janmashtami Salim who has been doing this work for years has been making dresses of many Hindu gods and goddesses for different Hindu festivals like Diwali Navratra and more His work is appreciated and lauded by all those around him. हमें जितने भी मंदिर होते हैं जगन्नाथ जी तक के हमें पोशाक बनाई है ये जन्माष्टमी है नवरात्र है इन सबों में जो है सब में दिवाली में गणेश लक्ष्मी के कपड़े बनाते हैं It is due to gestures and deeds like these that India stands united and undivided and this bond of brotherhood and bonhomie is clearly visible to the entire world. And now we will take you to Jammu and Kashmir where the 6th edition of Virasat A Gadka was organized to promote the traditional martial art form among youngsters. Traditional art forms are a great way to teach youngsters the art of self defense along with keeping them intact with their cultural roots. One such tradition art form is gatka, a form of martial arts that originated back in the 15th century by Sikh religious leaders during the peak of their resistance battle against invading forces. Since then it has now toned down to the usage of sticks and sparring swords. To promote this traditional martial art form the 6th edition of Virasate Khalsa was recently held at a gurudwara in Jammu and Kashmir Martial art ek aisa hai jo aap jab isko aap dharan karenge isko sikhna start karenge aapka dhyan jo hai wo dur chala samajik buraiyon se dur hota jayega aap apne dharm ke prati jo judte jayenge ye वही कंसेप्ट लेके हमने इस प्रतिमा को अपना इस चैंपियनशिप को चलाया था कि ताकि बच्चे इससे ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा इंटरेक्ट हों इससे ज़्यादा जुड़ें और जब जब जुड़ेंगे तो ये अपने धार्मिक विद्या के साथ भी जुड़ेंगे Organized by Jammu and Kashmir Gatka Association the event aimed at preserving the traditional art form and promoting the habit of combat and self defense among the youngsters Decked up in attires, participants were delighted to compete on stage as they had been practicing for the competition for so long. Sir, I want to see, na, dekho, just like all games, sports me hai, or ye, our India ki apni game hai, ki bar ki nii hai. Ye self defense se, our Guru ji ne chalaya tha Hindustan ki raksha ke liye. Kini der, mule, isko nii promotion me lagi, fir kahan pe milagi? All games jari hai, choti choti, just like slumbum, fencing. Ye bhi isi ke bich me se nikli hai na. Par gatka, jisko dekhe jo game nikli, wo game kyu bichhe re, sir? The Gatka Association also aims at organizing a world championship for the sport. The Indian government recognized it as a national sport in the year 2016. Next we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section World in Focus. Pacifico Yokohama is one of Japan's largest convention centers which recently hosted Japan's World Stamp Exhibition. It is the anniversary of the founding of postal service in Japan. It is held every 10 years since 1971. This year marks the sixth time Japan hosts this event title the Philan Nippon 2021. and to reflect the fact that 2021 marks the 150th anniversary of the postal service in Japan the exhibition introduced many items to broadly communicate to visitors to samazama na eh to posto no ironna ma mukashi kara no posto ya haitatsu in no seifuku ato eh to saisho no koro kara ima made no kitte いろんなものを発行してきておりますので、まあ、そういったものを展示させていただいています
、えー、と世界から、えー、といろんな切手珍しい切手もいろいろあの展示をさせていただいております。例えば、えー、と今日本は、えー、とオリンピックやパラリンピックのタイミングですが、えー、と過去にいろんな国でオリンピックパラリンピックにちなんだ切手も出されておりますのでそういう展示もさせていただいております。まあ、今の特に若い人にも受けるようなもういろんな形や、えーとまあ、例えばキャラクターを使ったものとかいろんな切手をこれからも出していきたいと思っています。In 1890, the first World Stamp Exhibition was held in London, marking the 50th year since the issuance of the world's first stamp, known as the Penny Black. Today, the Fila Nippon 2021, with the theme celebrating 150 years of service, delivering new value tomorrow, is dedicated to popularizing the postal service. The event provides a good chance to enjoy the hobby of collecting stamps. Children were also happy to visit the event as many stamps had popular animation characters. Fila Nippon 2021 introduces postal service that will move beyond history and into tomorrow. Hundreds of redheads from around the world gathered at a festival in the southern Dutch town of Tilburg. The annual Redhead Days event, which was cancelled in 2020 due to the COVID 19 pandemic, brought visitors from countries including Britain, Germany, Hungary, and the United States to a series of meet and greet events and activities, including a live drawing class. We have this funny connection、uh, with others. You meet a lot of people, you can come alone,、um, and it's Yeah, it's just special. I personally feel something when I see redhead, redheads or redhead people. I feel like effectively we, we belong to a certain community. There's something that brings us together. Organizers say attendance at the three day festival held in the Netherlands since 2005 was sharply down on previous years. With activities including lectures and a bar crawl scrapped due to COVID 19 restrictions. But some participants said they still felt a connection to others. Rice remains stable food in Japan for over 2,000 years. The country provides nearly 8 million tons of rice every year, with a consumption of 55 kg per person. Oyama Senmeda in Chiba Prefecture is a spectacular rice field terrace that could be easily accessed from Tokyo. And one of the greatest benefits of being a rice loving country is that Japan has also a beautiful rice field terrace called Tanada in several locations and countryside from north to south. Oyama Senmeda was recognized in 2002 as a cultural landscape created mutually by people and nature. When it was designated by Chiba Prefecture as a prefectural landmark. The land is very small. The land is very small. The The cultivation of the hillside of mountainous region was a common sight throughout Japan until the late 1970s. However, due to the increase in the use of machinery and an aging population of farmers, this beautiful landscape was rapidly disappeared. But in Kamogawa city, Terry's rice paddy of Oyama Senmeda continues to be carefully maintained and cultivated to this day, and it has become a famous tourist attraction. Currently, Oyama Senmeda Field is maintained by o w n e r s System, which works to contribute towards local revitalization by helping to preserve beautiful landscape and provide a place for urban residents to try farming. o w n e r s System is a land adopting system, so anyone can adopt a small plot of land and experience rice planting firsthand. This program is designed for anyone, such as metropolitan area resident. Who is looking for a break from the busy life in big city? The rice field terrace of the Oyama Senmeda is a great example of the beautiful image of Japanese farming village. That's all we have for you this week. 
Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia.nin.com. I'm your host, Skyrim, and it's goodbye from the entire production team.